Hello everyone, it's Miss Diana. It's very nice to see you. Today is Thursday. We're going to start today by singing our hello song. Do you remember our hello song where we had to clap our hands and stomp our feet and stretch up high and turn around? We haven't done that in a long time. You can sing hello to me or you can sing hello to somebody in the room with you. Let's start the song. Here we go. Remember this? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Stretch up high. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes now. Can you turn around? Turn around. Turn around. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Boom, boom, boom. Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Boom, boom, boom. Can you stretch your toes? Stretch your toes. Hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp! Nice job! Do you remember that song? We used to sing it every morning when we started our school, right? And we would say hello to everybody, all of our friends. I'm going to say hello to all of our friends today. Hello, Arnav! Hello, Arcia. Hello, Brian. Hello, Noble. Hello, Ian. Hello, Roan. Hello, Dipson. Hello, Priscilla. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Aria. Hello to everybody. Do you remember what letter we were doing? What was our letter that we were talking about this week? It was the letter Y. Right, the letter Y. And can you try and make a Y with your finger pencil? A Y starts on one side and it slants down and then you stop. And then you go to the other side and you slant another line down so that it touches. And first you make a V and then you go another line down to make a tail on the Y. Just like this. Line down, line down, and then a small line down. That's the letter Y. Do you remember what sound the letter Y says? It says yeah, yeah. Can you say that with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y says yeah. Here are some of our words that started with the letter Y. We had eight words. Here was one of them. Yawn. Ooh, can you give a big yawn? Yawn. What's this one? A yo-yo, a toy. Do you have a yo-yo toy? What is this one? It's a yak, right. A yak, it's like a cow, but it's very hairy and it has lots of fur. What is this one? What is it? What does this mean when you shake your head up and down? Yes, yes. What is this one? Right, it's yarn. Miss Diana has on a sweater that somebody made from yarn. What 
color starts with a Y. Yellow. Yellow. That's right. It's yellow. This is a yummy food that you can eat. It's called yogurt. That's yogurt. Do you like yogurt? And we have this. What is the inside of the egg called? That's a very small circle. It's called, and it's also yellow, it's called the yolk. The yellow yolk. Yolk. So here are all of our words. Yawn, yo-yo, yak, yes, yarn, yellow, yogurt, and yolk. Let's take all of these off. And I am going to show them to you and I want you to find the one that I say. Okay, I'm going to show you two and you find the one that I say. Where is yes? Right there, good. Yo yo. Right there. Yak. Mm -hmm. Yawn. Good. Yogurt. Yep, that one. Yarn. Good. Yolk. Yes, this was the yolk. And what was this? Yellow. Right. Very good. Those are our Y words. We are almost done with our alphabet. Today was Y. Next week we'll have a new letter. We'll be doing Z next week. Y says Y. Yeah. If you remember when we met on Tuesday, we were talking about seeds and how a seed gets planted in the dirt and becomes a plant. Remember we talked about how an egg becomes a baby bird or a snake or a ladybug or a butterfly. There are lots of animals that come from eggs. If you put a seed in the ground, in the dirt, it will become a plant. A seed in the dirt will become a plant with the sun and the rain. So I have some seeds that grew into flowers that I want to show you today. Here is a flower that I have in my yard. This flower is called catchfly. Can you see the flower? Here's the flower, and then here's the leaves on the flower, and right under the leaves is this very thick stick. It's called the stem. The stem. Do you see the stem? The stem holds the flower up, and the leaves catch the sun. And then look at the beautiful pink color it is. That's a flower that grew from a seed. Here's another kind of flower. This flower is called, <laughs> it's white. <laughs> this flower is called candy tuft. Candy tuft. It's just white. And it also has a stem and some leaves on it. Do you see the stem and the leaves on this flower? The leaves are small and the stem is right in the middle and then at the very top is the flower. And we planted some seeds. Do you remember that? We planted some seeds in the dirt. We planted something called a marigold and we put them in my little jar and we put the dirt inside and we put the water on and Miss Diana is putting it in the sun on the windowsill. Do you see anything coming yet? We need to see a sprout coming up. A sprout.
sprout is the little green part that comes up from the seed. Do you see anything? Not yet. Sometimes it takes a long time for a seed to come up. We'll see it again on Tuesday and see if any of our seeds came up out of the dirt. There are parts to a flower. The flower that I showed you, my catch fly, do you remember that on the top there was the flower and then there's the leaves, right? And then after the leaves, you could see the stem. Mm -hmm. And at the very bottom, which I didn't show you because it's in the dirt, there is something called the roots. The stem is here, the leaves, the flower, and the roots. Can you say that with me? Flower, leaves, stem, and roots. Let's do it one more time. Flower, leaves, stem, and roots. Okay, I'm going to say the word. Can you show me where it is? Where's the roots? Right here. Good. Where's the flower? Yeah, it's all the way up here. Where are the leaves? right there. Where's the stem? Right here. Very good. I have a little puzzle and let's see if we can make a flower with all of the leaves and the roots and the stem. Here are some, here's the flower and here's some roots and look here's some leaves with a stem. How can we put these together to make it look like my big flower in the back here? What should we do? What should be on the bottom? Do you know what goes on the bottom? Does the flower go on the bottom? Does the stem go on the bottom? What goes on the bottom? Let's look up here, see if we can find the same. There's roots on the bottom, and here are our roots right here. Here's the roots. Let's try and make the flower now. We found the roots, and now we need a stem and some leaves. Can you see the stem and leaves? I see one right here. Let's put it on the top. Oh, look at that. We have a flower that looks like Miss Diana's flower in the back here, right? This flower is blue. What color is our flower going to be? What's this? It's yellow. Should we put it on the top? Let's put it on the top. Yes, there it is. There is our flower, our leaves, our stem, and our roots. How about that? Do you want to make it taller? Let's see if we can make it taller. It's not as tall as my plant in my flower in the back here. Let's see if we can make it taller. Okay, let's let's take off the flower. Let's give it some more root, some more stems and leaves. We have the root at the bottom, stem and leaf. Here's another stem and leaf. Look at that. It's almost as tall as my flower in the back. Whoa, look at that. Hmm, do you think we could add one more and make it even taller? Think we could make it as tall as the blue flower? Let's try. I'm gonna take off the yellow flower. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. We're gonna have to put this on very slowly. Here comes the stem and the leaves. I'm going to put it on top here. Ooh, can I do it? Can I do it without it falling? This is our flower tower. Look at that. We have our roots and we have one, two, three stem and leaf pieces. And now on the very top, what are we going to put? We're going to put the flower. 
flower. Look at that. Our flower is so tall, just like the flower, the blue flower. We made a tall yellow flower. Look at that. Flower, leaves and stem, and roots. Good job. Thank you for helping me to make that. Wasn't that fun? Were you a little scared that maybe the tower would fall over? Miss Diana was, but it didn't. We made a great tower together, a, a flower tower, right? Okay, do you remember when I taught you the song about what happens to the eggs? What happens to the eggs? The eggs become a chick, right? Let's sing that song and then we're going to play a little game with our flowers and you're going to help me count, okay? First, let's do our chick song. We had, let me take this down so we can, you can see my hands better. Flower, leaf, stem, and roots. Here we go. Five eggs and five eggs, that makes ten. Here we go, there's our ten eggs. Five eggs and five eggs, that makes ten. Sitting on the nest is the mother hen. Mother hen says, brock, 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 brock. The crick, 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 crack, the eggs say back. One, two, three, what do I see? Ten little chicks, cute as can be. And what are they going to say? Did your little chicks run everywhere? Good. We counted to ten, right? We had ten chicks. Let's count to ten on our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten. And we can say the words that count to ten, and we can also look at the numbers that count to ten. I'm going to put up all of my numbers, and I'm going to see if you can find number one. Okay, I'll put these all here, and you can look at them and see if you can find number one. Can you find the number one flower? And if you can, we'll put it here. And then we'll find number two, and number three, and number four, and then we'll keep going. We'll find all of the numbers. Okay? Do you see where number one is? Where is number one? Can we count to ten by finding the numbers? Can you do it? Do you see number one? Yes, very good. It's right here. Here's number one. We're going to start up here with our number one. What comes after one? One, two. Where is number two? Did you see it? It's a yellow flower. Yeah, you found it. Good. It's right here. Number two. One, two. What comes after two? Three. Do you see number three somewhere? Did you find it? Did you find it on the orange flower? Yes, there it is, right there. One, two, three. What comes after three? Four. Where's number four at? Can you find number four? Are you looking on a white flower for number four? Yes, good job, you found it. There it is. One, two, three, four. What comes next? Yeah, five. Where is number five? Are you looking on the pink flower for number five? Not this one. There it is, right there, number five. One, two, three, four, five. What comes after five? Six. 
Where is number six at? Is it on a white flower? Is it on an orange flower? Is it on a pink flower? Is it on a yellow flower? Yes, it's on a yellow flower. Right here is number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes after six? Seven. Where is seven? What color of flower is number seven? Is it yellow? No. Is it white? No. Is it orange? Yes, it's an orange flower. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Eight. That's right. Eight. Do you see number eight? Did you say it was on the white flower? Great job. Yes, it's on the white flower. Good looking. Okay, we have two numbers left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, where is nine at? Did you say the, the pink flower? Good job. Yep, it's not this one. It's this one. Nine and what's this one? Ten. Right, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's how many flowers we have today. Ten flowers. Some are yellow. Some are pink, some are white, and some are orange. Great! Thank you for counting with me today. I have a story for you today. It's called Plant the Tiny Seed. It's about planting a seed and watching it grow into a flower. This is a story that you have to help me with. Sometimes you have to press or wiggle your fingers or tap something and then you can see what happens to the seed in the story. Are you ready to read it together? Let me move my chair here. This is called Plant the Tiny Seed. It is by Christine Matheson. Look, there are the seeds right there. There are the seeds they're going to plant. There's magic in the tiny seeds. Press it down and count to three. Can you see the seed? Can you see it on the ground? You press it and count to three. One, two, three. There's more seeds. How many more seeds are there? One, two, three seeds, just like we counted. Plant another, then one more. Press them down and count to four. Can we press these ones? Press, press, press. Now let's count to four. One, two, three, four. It is. They're under the ground. It says wiggle your fingers to add some water. Can you wiggle your fingers and add, put some water on the seeds? Sprinkle some water there. Great. That's enough. Next, rub the sun to make it hotter. <gasps> Look what happened. Our seeds are sprouting. Let's rub the sun so that it gets hotter and warmer for them. Here we go. There's all the water we wiggled. Let's, let's make it hotter for them. Rub the sun. Oh, look at that. They're getting taller. 
Now it says to tap the cloud in wish for rain. Can you tap it? Tap, 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 tap. Say, I wish for rain. I wish for rain. I wish for rain. Here it comes, good, you brought the rain. Nice wishing. Clap to bring the sun back again. Can you clap? Let's clap, let's clap five times, ready? One, four, five. Okay, let's see if the sun comes back. Ah, look at that, the sun came back and look how tall our little plants are that came from the seeds. Can you find the worm? Look for its tail. Do you see it? There it is right there, yes. Oh no, look what's in our plants. It's a snail. Can you tell him to go away? Go away snail, go away. Go away from our plants, go away. Oh, look at this. Our plants have a bud on them. Can we say good night to the little bud? Good night, little bud. Good night. He's going to go to sleep for the night. There it is, they're sleeping. Guess what you'll see in the morning? Do you know what you're gonna see in the morning? When the plant wakes up, what do you think is going to happen? Wow! What happened to the bud? It became a flower! Can you point to the purple flower? Yeah, right there is the purple flower. Look at this, it's a new bud. What color do you think that will be? And here's another one coming. Here come the bees, they love the flowers. Oh, it says, it tells us to tap the cloud again. We need some more rain. Can you tap it? Tap, 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 tap. Here comes this one. What color do you think it will be? It's another rain shower, and look what came out. A red flower. Did you guess it was going to be red? We have a purple flower and a red flower. What color do you think that one is going to be? Hmm, do you have a guess? Right now it's raining. Did you guess orange? There it is. We have an orange, a purple, and a red flower. Do you see the stem and the leaves on the flower? Can you touch the flowers really soft and gentle? Here we go. Touch the orange, touch the purple, touch the red. Did you touch them? Aren't they beautiful? Oh, wow. Now jiggle the plants to scatter the seeds. Look, they made seeds inside. Now we're gonna shake them so the seeds will fall on the ground and go into the dirt again. Here we go, let's shake it. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, we shook off the seeds. Look at that, they're all falling to the ground. The new seeds are going to fall in the dirt. The purple flower needs to be clipped. Can you put your finger across and make it snip snap off? Here we go, let's cut it off. Snip, snip. When a flower is dead, you can cut it off and then it helps the new flowers to come. Okay, you snipped it off and we scattered the seeds. Close your eyes and wave your hands in the air. Close your eyes, wave your hands in the air. Wave them, close them. What's gonna happen now? Oh, look, there's magic 
everywhere. Look, our new seeds that fell from the flower are sprouting. All of these flowers have more. And look at the hummingbirds are coming and the butterflies are coming and the bees are all coming because they love to drink the nectar in flowers. Did you know that there was sweet water inside of flowers that hummingbirds and butterflies and bees love to drink? Wasn't that nice that we got to plant a seed in our book and then we tapped and we wiggled and we made the rain come and then we rubbed the sun and we made the sun come out and then we shook the plants and made some more seeds. Soon our seed is going to grow. Seeds are amazing. There are so many things that you can plant from seeds in the springtime. Well, that's all Miss Diana has for you today. I will see you again on Monday. On Monday, we will do our new letter. It's the letter Z. And we're also going to talk about butterflies. Okay. Have a very nice day. Thank you for spending time with me and for having school together. Bye-bye.